Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be giving you a Kartra membership tutorial. So in my opinion, the membership aspect is one of the coolest features that Kartra has to offer. In fact, I think they're better than a lot of the other sales funnel builders, especially when it comes to memberships. And I'm happy to walk you through the process. In case you haven't gotten to test out Kartra, I will put a link down below. They do come with a 14 day trial. With that being said, let's begin. So a couple things to keep in mind you're going to need are going to be some type of promotional page. As you can see right here, I just have one that has Affilio Launch, which is going to be the name, so Affilio Membership. So whether that's going to be on Kartra, an external site, if you don't have one created out or a sales letter, anything like that, don't worry about it. You can always create a dummy page, just put it in there and of course edit it later. Also, when I go through this, I'm not going to focus too much on a lot of the cosmetic things. So like product boxes, logos, pictures and stuff like that, uh, I'm, you know, I'll leave up to you because obviously that's going to be best for your membership. So anytime you go through this, what you need to do is obviously save each section before you continue on, which is very important. So we have our description, our promotional page. Like I said, all the cosmetic stuff you can edit. Let's click on save. And this next section is pretty simple. Do you want a password protect it? If it's going to be paid, I highly recommend it. Even if it's going to be free, I still recommend it. I like the ability that no one can get it unless they get their specific username and login. Just makes it feel more, I guess you could say, limited or special that way. Let's click on save and go to save and next. And just like that, we get to start editing the membership right on into it very quickly. Let's click on launch builder. All right, so here we are. We're in the membership builder, the course builder, the drag and drop editor, whatever you want to call it. The cool thing about it is that once you get used to it and figure it out, it's going to be a pretty simple process. Let's get started with the actual homepage. So on the left, you're going to see a few things that go up on the, the top section, like an announcement bar and the marquee. Sidebar contents are going to be everything that goes here. And when it comes to post contents, that's everything that goes in the home section. So let's start off with these sidebar contents. If you want to add something in, just drag and drop it right there. And as you'll see, it's going to be a picture of you. And of course, you'll have your name, your bio, and you can utilize social media icons if you want. For this also, you can change how it's going to look. So if you want a bigger picture with social media under it, if you want a smaller one with social media under it, and of course, you know, your cool Floridian instructor. Okay. And if you want social media icons, you can turn those on. Let's say you want Facebook. Now, whatever it is, obviously, something like that. If you want to add in more, it's going to be up to you. But let's just click on save. And just like that, we have our cool Floridian instructor. If you want this to move to the side, just click on that so you can see everything, okay? Aside from that, there's going to be an aspect for progress bar. Featured posts, which is something you're going to want to wait. This is more so after you've created more of the post and kind of like the meat or the content of your membership. Products are going to be specifically for if you have a product that you want to advertise, you can put it there. It's going to show it. And of course, banner. Banner is a great way to to draw more traffic to anything specific. So even if you're having a free membership, maybe there was ultimately more training that you would like to sell. That'd be a great spot for it. Say like, hey, if you enjoyed this free membership, I'm also having a special deal on this other membership, 50% off, you know, something like that. Then of course, from there, we have our post content. So headlines, text, image, video, button, divider, highlight box, download button, resources and links, opt-in forms, checkout forms, calendars, surveys, audio playlists, and of course, custom code. With that being said, this is going to be our home section. So let's go to video here and drag this in. And what I want to do here is since I already have my videos uploaded in Kartra, if you don't, that's cool. You can use YouTube. It's very easy. Just add the video URL there. If you're using Wistia or Vimeo, obviously there's going to be codes there. But the cool thing about Kartra, they do have their video. So I'm going to select my introduction one here. One sec. Now that I have that, let's click on save. Great. And what we can also do is just say some text. Give me a sec, I'm just gonna type something in here. All right, so there we go. Thank you so much for signing up for my membership course. Please watch the following video to hear more about what you're going to be learning. You know, something similar to that. Let's just click on save. I just, something I like doing whenever I'm doing memberships or landing pages or sales funnels, every now and then I wanna save. Also, there's gonna be the colors too, if you wanna change this around. Maybe you're more of green. You know, you can drag the bar here. Really gonna be up to you. Yeah, I think I'm getting too crazy with the aesthetics. Either way, so now the important thing is now that we have home done, what we want to work on is going to be the main content. So if you're doing a membership, I always like talking about doing things kind of like in chapters. So we have our home and our introduction video. So if we're doing a course, what's going to be the first step? You know, so that would be like the first chapter, so to speak, then the second, then the third, then the fourth. But how do we add those? If we hover over this right here, you're going to see this pencil. Click on that. 
And these are going to be these specific categories that show up at the top of the menu. So we have our home one right there, next. And then we'll probably do two. I think once you get the idea of one, it's going to be very easy for you to figure out. But for this, give me a sec. I'm just going to rename this. Okay, so what I did is added two more steps. These are going to be the main categories. And the cool thing about this is that, yes, you can do subcategories. All you need to do is click on that button right there, and then you can add a subcategory to that. So let's just say subcategory. Sure, you know, something like that, and then go from there. So I'm just going to delete that because I'm not looking to create any at this time. Let's click on Save. <clears throat> And as you'll see, now we have up at the top, we're going to have a few more. So let's click on step one. So this is the important thing that you need to keep in mind. As you'll see right here, it says drag your post here. So what you want to do is go right to where it says new post. If you try to drag anything else in there, it's just not going to work in that specific spot. So what I want to do is go to new post and drag it right there. Okay, so here I added a post name, a post description. And of course, if you want to add an icon that once again, that's more cosmetic stuff. Let's click on save. And here we go. So now that we know how to utilize our post content, remember all the stuff on the left is mostly going to be, you know, sidebar contents. Obviously, you can add different sections once you're actually in a specific different category. That's something that you can do. It's cool when you highlight over it, it shows you what they're going to be uh, learning in terms of the description. Either way, once again, let's click on video. Excuse me, let's drag and drop the video. And what I want to do is get this specific video for this section. Okay, and there's the video. And the cool thing about this, let's say we want to add like a divider down here. And maybe now we want to add some text. And the cool thing about this, see when you go to drag and drop, it's either above it or below it. You know, it, it makes it much easier for you that. So something I like doing is Cliff Notes, just kind of giving you some ideas here. What I like doing is going over some of the most important aspects of videos or key takeaways, because I know sometimes people are going to want to skim videos, uh, and that's fine. Sometimes they learn better that way, or maybe they want to watch it faster, whatever it's going to be. The fact of the matter is that whether they go through it slower, faster, I want to make sure they get these main specific points. So that's why sometimes I'll put cliff notes or something to keep in mind, where if I was to test them on it, they would know the answers to those questions specifically, just because it's the most important part of the video. It's kind of like saying if I was to create a video and I said, out of everything I'm talking about, make sure you remember this specifically. Usually every video has one of those big golden nugget moments, and that's what I want to talk about. So you can also put things down there such as highlight boxes, which is very similar. You know, highlight that cliff note if you want, download buttons in case you have, say, a PDF or maybe a screenshot like I've done in my membership. I just don't have that picture on me. You could use that for a button. There's resources and links. And like we talked about, plenty of other aspects there. So what I want to do is save this. I think you get the idea now because that's the process that you're going to be utilizing when you go to every category here. So once again, let's drag in our new post. Okay, this is going to be the sales funnel and the sales funnel explained. I'm sure it's much more deeper than that just for you know keeping this as quick as possible. Let's click on save. That's where you know your course the best. And once again, if we're doing video here, let's get the sales funnel video, right? And maybe we have two parts to this. So what we can do is actually put a divider here and we can get another video. Let's drop that right there. Cart for video and part two. And there we go. If you notice that, we not only have one video, but we have two of them. So you can upload multiple videos. That's really going to be up to you. And like I said before, I think you get the idea overall. That's pretty much what the setup is going to be. From going on there, it's pretty much going to be adding your categories, adding your videos. Maybe you have some information, some text, uh, whatever it's going to be. Okay, so now that we're done, we can go over here. Let's click on Save and Exit. And these are going to be some of the templates. If you notice, there's not a huge difference. For example, this top header right here is a little thinner. This one goes down a little longer. And on this one, instead of the header being up top, it's going to be vertical going up and down. But I like this one. So let's click on Save and Preview. Let's just see how it looks. Okay, so there's going to be that video, your cool Floridian instructor. Okay, and then we click on that. And of course, that's what you can do also when you highlight it over and there are going to be more subcategories. There's going to be much more that you can obviously pick from there. And once again, we have the sales funnel explained in our two videos. Pretty cool, right? So let's go back over here. Let's go to save and exit and get rid of that. All right, so save and next. So I believe this is a newer feature where not only can you enable comments, but now you can moderate them, I believe. So let's just say we want comments for both of these. Let's click on save. 
And this is going to be either auto approved or comments must be approved by an admin. Uh, this one's not going to be bad, especially if you don't have a ton of people in there, or if maybe if you have a free membership, every now and then someone can sign up and just start trolling or posting negative things. And if you don't want those even seen to anyone, you have the ability to have them be approved by an admin. So let's click on save, save and next. And now we have our access levels, okay? So add level if we want. So standard is gonna be here. So we have our affiliate blueprint explained. We have the sales funnels. Obviously we can do instant access or this is gonna be the aspect where we can drip feed content, which is probably one of the most popular features when it comes to memberships. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a membership that doesn't have this feature. So you can do it instantly. You can do it upon a specific amount of days or let's just say this was a bonus. Let's say it's not step two. This was, you know, step 100 where it was free case study or step 30, okay? What we could do is actually jerk feed that and say 30 days after sign up. This is gonna be like a bonus. So if they make it through the 30 days, that's great. They get this great case study where they get to follow along, see everything in action. And that's a great way to help keep people on board more by giving some nice bonuses, but kind of like teasing them on the way, okay? So let's click save. If you wanna add another level, this is where you can do it as well. Let's just say we have silver. That's going to be up to you and how you want to structure your membership. But once again, you can turn this on and on or you can turn it off and so on and so forth. Okay, let's click on save. And we can manage locked posts as well. This is going to be how you want to show this. Okay, so you can either don't display locked post in the navigation bar. You can display post, but keep it unclickable. Or you can display post in a pop-up teaser. Once again, really up to you. Let's click on save and keep it the way it is. Notify your members when a post unlocks. That's going to be up to you. I would say yes, especially if it's something bonus, you know, and really juicy. Let's click on yes. And we can obviously edit our email. So new content has just become available for you. This is just like a blank, not a blank one, but a templated one where it says the membership, the post name, where it is, where they can log in and so on and so forth. So that's a great way to get people coming back to your membership, especially after a certain amount of time. Looks good. Let's click on save. Let's click on save and next. And we have our progress bar. Once again, this is self-explanatory. You can do it where you don't want to display it. You can display it, but the progress bar enforce their linear progress. So your users will visualize their progress line through the membership content. They will be forced to consume it in order one post at a time. So that's good if you have something that's step-by-step, -step, which is going to stop people from like going from the first to the last. You know, it's kind of like reading the first chapter of the book and then the last chapter of the book. Uh, if you don't want anything spoiled, like, you know, you're probably going to want to do it that way. Or if it's very important that they watch every single video in step because you do something in step, you're probably going to want to go that way. Then you can also do yes, display the progress bar and do not force linear progression. That's more like they'll have the progress bar there, but they can go from video one to 10 to three to 18 if they want. Once again, that's going to be up to you, but it's great that they have the, the ability to really customize that. Save, save and next. Next, we have Help Desk. Actually did a, a completely different video about this that shows you how to set that up. So if you want a Help Desk, you'll probably want to do it within Kartra. That's what's great about them. They have a lot of features built into one. So I don't need to go through that. If I remember, I will put a link deeper into the description that shows you how to set it up. But for this, I'm just going to put off. If you want to use it, you can go through and connect the one that you already have. Save and next. Welcome, send a welcome email. Once again, not a bad idea. If you click on save, it's gonna show you how that's done. Your login information. Uh, welcome, you're our latest brand new member. Login page, email, password, and so on and so forth. These are always great. Like I said, it just helps to get the uh, important information to your members when they need it. Save and next. Okay, and last but not least is gonna be the automations. I'm gonna do a completely different video about this because I feel it deserves its own. Uh, another great thing about Kartra is they have a lot of these powerful automations and tags and features that can really help you increase your sales and leads. But this, once again, is gonna be up to you and how you wanna do it. You can assign tags, you can subscribe to list and sequences, and of course, you can utilize advanced automations. It's really going to be up to you and based upon what your visitors do or what they don't do or what you wanna get them to do. Like I said, automations are great, but you gotta know your goal in mind. And since I don't know that specifically, I don't want to guess and kind of change things up on you. So I'm going to leave that how it is and click on save and next. You can always edit that later. So congratulations, your membership portal has been created. So now that we have our membership set up, lastly, I want to go through the portal section. And the portal section is great. So if someone gets a lot of memberships, they're going to have one section where they can log into all of them. Once again, this is going to save a lot of headache for customer service because everything's all in one. Either way, all we need to do is find it. Once we're in the membership section, you're going to click on portals. You're going to create a new one, give it a name, and then we'll start from there.
All right, so here we are in our portal. It says activate the individual membership sites. Do you want to be displayed in this membership portal? So I want to select the one we just created and click on save. And then from there, what we can do for our display membership, we can display all of them. We can display only accessible memberships or forced login. It says your visitors before gaining any visibility to the portal will be required to log in. Once logged in, we will only display the memberships they have access to, hiding those they don't. I like the idea of displaying all because if there's one that they don't have, there's the ability for them to check it out and possibly sign up. Let's click on save, save and next. Sort the memberships. Obviously, if you just have one, it's just going to be one there, and then you can sort them how you want. Customization. So once again, we have our logo, we have our background color, and of course, we can say, so whatever your brand name is, you know, or maybe your name, you can utilize that. And once again, we can change around. There's some just basic uh, images you might find on like Unsplash or a lot of the uh, the free uh, photo websites, but that one looks good. If you want to change it and upload your image, if you want to change around the color and the opacity, you can do that as well. So progress bar, yes, display the progression bar. Your users will be able to visualize how much of the content they've completed for each membership. Oh, uh, why not? That's cool. Let's go with yes. And we forgot this one to click save. Let's do that and save it next. Help desk, once again, if you have one, you can utilize that with what you have, or if you have an external one, you can obviously create a URL, but just for the sake of this, I'm gonna click on known and save, save and next. And of course we can finish. Let's check this out. All right, and so there we go. That's where your logo would go. This is kind of gonna be their information with their profile. Obviously we had a random picture there with the brand name portal. And of course, this is where they can access what they have to offer. So, and I really like this aspect for portals, especially for the fact that if someone, or if you have like, nine different memberships, whatever it may be, and someone, you know, gets access to one of them, they can see the others. And if they purchase them, they'll all be right here. So that saves you a lot of time, headaches and support tickets. And of course, if they want to access, they can click on this button. And there we go. Just like we talked about back to the membership page that we originally created with Kartra. So that was, uh, I want to say it was a quick walkthrough, but it took a little bit longer to explain and give you my thoughts on a lot of things. Either way, I hope you got some value out of this and gave you some insight about how you can get started, what you can utilize within the membership sites, and just so much more. If you haven't gotten to test out Kartra, like I said, the link down below for a 14-day trial. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer. You can feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.